Blue Bricks by Property Lim Brothers is back in District 12 today. We are at Wampo Gardens and if you are someone that wants to live within the City Fringe area and wants to keep your quantum below $700,000, you need to check out this renovated 4-room HDB unit of a size of 1,108 square feet. Let's go check this out. So before I show you the place, let me just share with you on the BB facts. Today we are at 110 Wampo Road, situated in Wampo Gardens where we have the 4 rooms and 5 room types. Unlike our neighbouring clusters, which have the 3 rooms type unit. So we have a healthy balance lease of 73 years and our lease is starting from November 1997. So there's a total of 39 4 room units and 38 5 room units in this block. And we have a total of 14 levels with 7 units in each level. So now let's move on to the BB floor plan analysis. So this unit has a very generous size of 103 square meters which translates to 1108 square feet. So we have a very huge living area, a kitchen and dining space, a service balcony and at the side you have your common bathroom. We also have two common bedrooms with a storeroom space in the middle and lastly of course your master bedroom and your master bath. So this unit has a very scrappish layout where there is no wasted space and all the space can be fully utilized especially when it comes to doing your carpentry work. So we are also on the mid level where the front door is facing towards the east direction. The owner has spent about $60,000 on the renovation and they have also changed the living room and second bedroom windows. So coming into the house, you'll notice that the owner has changed the wooden door to this light grey oak colour which has a very nice tone to the entire concept of the house. And behind me, this is a very huge dining area where you can have 6 to 8 seater dining set where you can accommodate more people when you're hosting your friends and family over. This corner here, you can see a very big space. For your first BB renovation idea, you can also do a full height cabinet to store in your shoes. So let's check out the living space. As you can see here, you have a very very big living area. Here you can fit in a 3 to 4 seater L-shaped sofa and at the side you also can fit in a massage chair as well so here you can put in your beautiful coffee table and you still have a very good distance to your TV console the owner has also built up a TV console here where you keep all the wirings inside so for BB Reno idea number 2 you can do a feature wall over here where you can have storage spaces and you can fit in some of the living room decor to beautify the entire place for the living room you have a thread light you can move the lights around if you want to change the direction so you also have a very nice ceiling fan over here here. If you look out of your unit, you get to see this unblocked view facing towards the Jalan Bahagia HDB landed area. So moving into the kitchen, you can see that this is currently an open concept style kitchen. Top and bottom cabinets, you have a nice counter space over here. So this entire kitchen layout over here is made out of compact plus which is very durable as well. Cooker hood and hob in your built-in microwave oven. You also have this dual basin here and drying rack above. So if that's not enough for you, you also have a very nice corner here for you to dry your utensils as well. So on the other side of the kitchen, this is your dedicated fridge space. BB renovation number three, you can do another panel of storage spaces to fully maximize the entire space of your kitchen. So what is interesting here is you can see there's a very nice small attached fan over here. When you're doing your cooking, you can oscillate it over to your side when it's hot and TP over here. So coming to your service yard, there's a very nice sliding door that separates your kitchen and your yard area. This space is very huge because you can fit in your washing machine. You can also place in another dryer here as well. So we also have three panels of window to bring in natural light for the house. Showing you the common bathroom, you can see that it's very beautifully renovated. Walls and the floor tiles is done in a similar pattern. WC and you also have a dedicated shower area which is separated by the shower screen. So before I show you the rest of the house, let me just share with you on the location analysis is where we are at today. So Wampo is in District 12 which is strategically located in the City Fringe area making it accessible to other parts of Singapore. Wampo is actually located in the middle of 4 MRT stations Topayo, Potong Pase, Novena and Bunking. As an estate that's close to town and has plenty of amenities, Wampo is always a popular choice and highly desirable location for resale as well as VTO launches because of its connectivity and City Fringe location. Additionally, if you look at the master plan, there is two additional plot of land that is zoned residential. This is the upcoming 
upcoming BTO launch exercise in September. The first site is located along Jalan Teteram in Wampo, bordering the intersection between the PIE and CTE Expressway. This site will house 1,040 units of 3-room and 4-room units. The second site of the Wampo BTO launch is just a short minute walk away from Jalan Teteram 1. Here, there are 730 units of 2-room flexi and 4-room flats being launched. So when you see new projects sprouting in this area, this is a good indicative for future price growth potential as well as spillover demand for this area. So if you're driving, you'll be glad to know that CTE and PIE is just 5 to 7 minutes walk away, yet we are still shielded and not too close to the highways as compared to the flats that are near enough to hear the road noise. In terms of accessibility wise, literally right in front of our cluster, you have St. Michael Bus Terminal where you have buses that take you to other parts of Singapore. We are also within few bus stops away to Bunking MRT Station which can bring you to town area in 3 to 4 stops in the North East Line. We are also within close proximity to Topayo MRT Station and if you take the North South Line there, this will bring you to the Orchard Shopping Belt within 3 to 4 stops as well. Amenities around you, you will find Wampo Food Centre, Wampo Market, Kim Kiet Palm Market and Food Centre and Topayo Vista Market. For shopping malls, you will find Shaw Plaza, Balestia Plaza and Zhongshan Mall. For recreation activities, there's Topayo Sports and Recreation Centre, Wampo CC and Topayo South CC. For for schools nearby, you have Hong Wen School, Bendemia Secondary School, First Topoyo Secondary School and St Andrews Junior School. So come, let me show you the common bedroom. So this entire space has been used up as a children's playroom. So what you can do in this space here is you can fit in a queen size bed. You also can have a full height wardrobe here as well. And in this corner over here, it gives you a lot of space for you to have your study corner. The owner has changed out to a privacy screen, which is a little bit tinted. So this is to prevent neighbours from looking into the room directly for all the rooms you can see that it's fitted with homogeneous house. So coming out, you can see that there's a dedicated storeroom space. So if you do not need this space over here, what we can suggest you for BB renovation idea number four is that you can hack away the wall to expand the bedroom space to have your wardrobe sunken in. So coming into your second common bedroom, this space is currently used as a study space. No built-in fixtures in this room. For BB renovation number five, if you do not need this space, you want to expand the space from your master bedroom, this wall can be hack eventually and you can expand your walk-in wardrobe into this entire area as well. All ACs is installed in all the bedrooms. You also have a very nice ceiling fan over here. This is actually a sunken space. The owner has done this into a very nice storage space for you to keep your bulky items as well. So before I show you the master bedroom, this is a quick blue bricks pricing analysis. So looking at the entire Wampo estate, you can see there is a mixture of older and newer projects here. So in Wampo Garden itself, you can see that most of the units, the remaining lease is about 69 to 73 years. So in our block here, we are one of the youngest cluster with a remaining balance lease of 73 years. Let's pull out the latest transaction for a four-room unit in this area with a balance lease of 70 odd years. This has been transacted around 635,000 to 720,000 in the past 12 months. So looking at this transacted price spectrum in Wampo estate, our unit asking at a price tag of 680,000 negotiable is very attractive if you want something of a moving condition and want to spend minimal on renovation. And of course, if you want option of a newer project with a balance lease of 93 years in the Jalan Tenteram site, there's a new BTO cluster at Tenteram Peak which have just MOP a couple of years back. The unit there is asking at 730,000 to 908,000. The size ranges from 990 to 1,001 square feet. All right in front of us in Wampo Dew Estate which is also a newly MOP project with a similar balance lease of 93 years. The units there are asking at 800,000 to 980,000 with a size of approximately 1,001 square feet. So if you're not looking for something newer and don't mind a healthy balance lease of 73 years, you can potentially use this savings to do a gut renovation to your own design and liking. In the Jalan Raja estate, these units are slightly in their 60 years balance lease age. You can find 4 or 5 room in block 107 and the rest of the remaining block in their clusters are of an EA status. So for a 4 room unit there, the last transacted prices was at 595000 in January 2023. So if you're looking for something renovated and of a good size unit, our unit at 1101 Poro is definitely one of the consideration for you. <music> 
So coming into your master bedroom, you can notice this very spacious layout. Here is a very nice L-shaped full height sliding wardrobe over here. And beside here is currently fitted with a king size bed. Owner also added a power point where you can use your phone when you're on a bed. Coming into this corner, there's plenty of space for your work from home station over here. This corner over here, there's also another sunken area where the owner has created these storage spaces. And now I'll show you the master bathroom. So coming into your master bathroom, you can see that this entire space is very nicely renovated. From the floor to the walls, there is a very nice sink with some bottom storage space. You also get your WC glass panel over here that separates your shower area. Owner also have installed this ventilator to further ventilate the entire bathroom. So before we end the home tour for today, let me just share with you on the BB Financial Analysis. So assuming both of you are a first-timer Singaporean couple aged 30 years old and is looking to purchase a resale HDB flat in the open market, you are entitled to receive up to $150,000 worth of CPF housing grants. Taking this scenario that both of you are earning a combined income of $10,000 and assuming both of you have a combined OA of $125,000, taking $20,000 from the proximity grant for living within 4km to your parents, family grant of $80,000 for a 4-room unit and adding all of that to your current CPF balance, this will come out to about $225,000. And based on the current asking price of $680,000, if you less off the $225,000 from your CPF and your grants, you will need to take a HDB loan of about $455,000 over a loan tenure of 25 years at an interest rate of 2.6%. So your monthly repayment will come out to be about $2,064, which you can use both of your combined monthly CPF contribution of $2,300 to service the mortgage. So this means that you do not have to touch any of your cash savings and can use this for other purposes. So thank you for staying through the home tour with us and if you are someone that wants to stay in the city fringe area at an asking price of $680,000 negotiable for a renovated four-room flat, do contact our listing managers below for physical viewings. Do like and subscribe to our Blue Bricks by Property Lean Brothers YouTube channel and we are also on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. I'm Jonathan Poe, Blue Bricks by Property Lean Brothers, always happy to show you the place. And alternative, alternatively, alternatively, and alternatively, <laughs> or otherwise, do contact our listing manager at the link below. My name, uh, do contact our listing manager at the link below.